welcome to the online lecture series of refrigeration and air conditioning here is professor lakshman mani this is a video session on variable refrigeration flow system and variable air volume system in this session you will be able to explain variable refrigeration flow system and variable air volume system variable refrigeration flow system to achieve the optimum thermal human comfort for building occupants with acceptable indoor air quality more energy efficient and cost reduction is the main objective of any air conditioning system air conditioning system with vrf means variable refrigeration flow has the capacity to cool and heat different rooms in a domestic building at the same time multiple evaporator refrigeration system these are with fixed speed compressor in this system refrigeration mass flow rate requirements varies as per evaporator load so in case of increasing evaporator load there is increasing suction pressure of single compressor thus it may not fulfill the requirement at other evaporator as far as temperature requirements are concerned so vrf system is used it has outdoor unit in which the outdoor unit consists of inverter driven compressor here the amount of refrigerant delivered by the compressor changes as the compressor speed changes outdoor unit is linked to indoor unit through a control wire the demands of indoor unit is sent directly to outdoor unit through a control wire so compressor speed is varied to correspond of a total cooling or heating requirements in case of multi split systems it give only response to one controller and cannot adjust the flow of refrigerant to each indoor evaporator continuously but in case of vrf systems it adjusts the flow rate of refrigerant to each indoor evaporator continually to control this system each indoor unit contains thermistor sensors to send information to microprocessor to open or close a modulating valve advantages of vrf system vrf system give high response to fluctuations in space load conditions compared to conventional air conditioning system it provide the heating and cooling flexibility for multiple zones that require individual thermal comfort controls disadvantages high initial cost and the ventilation issue which they cannot provide any fresh air to the indoor during the conditioning processes variable air volume system some spaces require different air flow of supply air due to the changes in thermal loads since multiple zones could have different requirements due to differences in the number of occupants equipment devices and activities the ventilation in different terminals may be unevenly distributed producing discomfort also energy could be wasted in over ventilated spaces due to poor equipment control and variability therefore a variable air volume system is suitable solution for achieving thermal comfort the vav system consists of a central air handling unit which provides supply air to the vav terminal control box that located in each zone to adjust the supply the temperature of supply air 
of each zone is controlled by manipulating the supply air flow rate. Let us see about VAV terminal control box. So here these systems have a central 1 to 3 speed air handling unit that delivers primary air at a defined temperature to terminal boxes in each zone. It is called as VAV box. The terminal boxes or VAV boxes have a primary air damper controlled automatically. So here you can see these are the dampers. This damper regulate the volume of primary air delivered to the boxes according to the demand. Since each box regulates the air flow independently, the total volume supplied by the AHU means air handling unit varies according to the demand of all boxes means VAV boxes. So at the end of this session you can explain variable refrigerant flow system and variable air volume system. If you like this video please subscribe and share. Thank you.